Josiah. Ah, oh, it's Josiah. Hey, Calgary. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Might you wait for me? I hurry up. Is my company all right then? You were saying before you bailed. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial <coughs> standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Let's hitch up. Well, you rest up now, girl. Yep, that's the word in town. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. I saw some reprobate shambling around my back. The way, Trelawney. Went straight to the wall. I swear, this place is going straight. That's the man there. Rotten. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. <laughs> but how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men. 
Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Hello. Adieu. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. So wait, I'm gonna hit it by myself? You're not gonna be of much help. For Lonnie. Okay, let's go. This way. Giddy up. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Like a plan. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is... Samson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. An opera. Some black water. Did you say? Mrs. Chester Danson. I flatter. Nobody. Stop the coach, my good man. Get my horse parked up over here. Slow it up. New Yorkers are pretty cool. 
who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but could, would you sing me something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. I, 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 Is this a pile of, of money here? month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My meat me go. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. I should have at least closed the thing. I wish there was an option. My dear boy, teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. See you, Trelawney. Let's go, girl. Let's go before they notice we jack their things. So I want to head over to Strawberry. Maybe I should just take a coach over there. Take a coach and check it out. Easy, easy. We're going to Rhodes, catch a coach, a strawberry, hopefully not end up in jail like Micah did along the way. Coach, you strawberry. Girl, I'm this way. Yeah, we're going 
out of town. This guy owes money. Yep. <laughs> when homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt will more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Lock and... Pump shock. Okay then, girl. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious. That this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. Cougar. What I know about cat, Boys. This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you. Not the other way around. Oh yeah. Maybe, but 
You see this one? I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. I think I'm dressed appropriately for where we're going. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. See her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. That is this weird. Never heard someone compare cougar to cotton. Virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. How Look about... Yeah, yeah. How about no? Is definitely down my way, isn't she? Holmes? Winton Holmes? Don't mess around with me, boy. He's dead. She got him. Crap. Damn dead deader. Oh, penniless idiot. Uh, 35 cents on him. Extremely afraid. Oh, you son of a... in here or dead bodies
creepy as sounds. Looks like a way up right there. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Get out of here. Okay, girl. Oh, the horse is dumb. I don't know why it's heading up into the mountain still. Okay, now let's head back to the butt trip course and we'll take another carriage ride back to Rhodes. I'm sorry, girl. I don't know what I was thinking there. Well, actually, I wasn't thinking. Well, I was thinking too much. So I still have the power. Okay, perfect. Watch yourself there. You know, man. Hey, watch that now. Yep. I have a bounty of three hundred here. I have forgotten completely. What is the matter here, huh? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah. There it is. What's so scared about your face? Nothing, buddy. I'm just wanted. Don't get any bad ideas. I'm just here to sell something. Forty-one dollars. Sounds good. Been a lot of that lately, but they always move. Give you this fish. It's not exactly fresh. Up three thousand eight hundred. I need to start buying some things. How much I need yet? Port Rex holding cam. Coach should be right here. Move out the damn way. Uh, stage coach information is there. It's been a while since I've been strawberry. Can't quite. Come on. I'm my way around, but I think I've managed to figure out where I need to go. So the thing is, you can be saved if you want. Ah, that was a stranger. 
again. Yeah, yes, that's it. By saving yourself. You can be saved by saving yourself. Rejoice one, rejoice all, for we are saved. Or I am saved and you will be too. If only you dedicate your life to service like me. Join me in paradise, right here, right now. This can be paradise. In fact, it is. Okay. That's weird. Get the hell out of Strawberry. Hey, move it! Hey, man. Sorry, can't help you right now. You don't give a ride with anyone with a bounty? Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Just going all the way to the camp then. Gonna be a long, long, long ride. Nothing much, buddy. Do you want to get shot, buddy? Fuck you. Oh. Come on, girl, don't, don't embarrass me. Not in front of all these people. I just shot someone, I need to go. Yeah. I'm reported. Whatever. What, they're gonna put more money on me, another, another twenty dollar? Do that. I got a five dollar extra bounty for shooting the guy in the chest for being a douchebag. It'll be fine. Not my fault. Taunted me. There's a note cake, girl. I wish I could give you a little bit of that cocaine gum. That'd make you go, go, go. Yeah. Got a 190 bounty here. 